I'm going to set up Proxmox, which is an open source virtual computing environment. Now, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just going to install it on this Gigabyte um, Bricks computer here and uh, show you how it works. So I'm, I've downloaded it, put the image on the USB stick, and I'm just going to boot that up. Now, one of the, what I think is the best part of this uh, system is that it's all web-based. So here we go, look, just install. It's a simple installer. Uh, once it's up and running, you can just use any, um, any browser pretty much to, to access it and set up the VMs. All right, now here's the start of the installer and usual stuff, the agreement there, so we agree to that. And uh, set the target drive, which is the only drive in there. And uh, so on. So, okay, what have we got? Time zone, Australia, Brisbane. Keyboard layout, password. And um, put the email in. Okay, so there's a the setup. That's what I'm going to use. And, uh, take it from there. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't ask much more during the install. It just goes ahead and does it. All right, and that's it. Now just click on uh, reboot and it'll tell me to take the old uh, installer media out. There it is, take that out and uh, reset it. Right, now that's all there is to do at the actual computer. I can uh, take the monitor off and never really look at it again. Everything else is done now through either SSH or the web interface. So on the screen, all we've got here is telling you the web address to go to. So that's all that's on the screen. Now I've got that IP address from the DHCP server but it also sets that in there now. So even if I take the DHCP server off, it'll keep that address. Okay, now that I've finished in the data center, I can come relax on the couch and do the rest just from a laptop. So what I'll do first is uh, go to the web interface, which as you saw before was the address, with port 8006. Now you'll get a certificate error here because the um, certificate isn't valid, of course. It's just on the LAN here. But we'll just accept that and go through. Now, username is root, and the password is the password you set up, of course. Now, this little screen, there is a way to get rid of that, but it uh, doesn't really do much. So here we are. That's the basic system. So if I want to create a VM, what I'll do is create VM and go through the process. I'm now going to put the Windows install ISO image onto the computer out there so I can actually install it. And I'm going to use SCP to do that. So I've got the um, image file here. And what I'm going to do, first of all, I'll SSH out there just to make sure we've got connectivity. So uh, SSH root at one. Do we want to accept that? Yes. And password. Okay, so we're in. Now the directory it's going to is valib vz template ISO. So there's nothing there at the moment, but that's where I'm going to put it and then it will be available in the drop down that I'll show you to actually install it. So I'll exit from that and get back to the MacBook here and secure copy. Okay, now it's copying. Okay, I'm gonna install that image now. So I just go up to create VM, uh, VM 100. Call it Windows. Uh, the OS, I'll tell that it's Windows. And here from the ISO image drop down, you can see that file, you can see Windows is there. And uh, just go ahead and set up the rest of it. Um, I'll give it a bit more memory than that, even though it's only just for a demo. Now, this um, model number of the, the network card. It defaults to Intel E1000, and that's a pretty good one that's compatible with most systems. So that seems to be a safer bet for things that I've found. So I'll stick with that. Confirm that, finish that. And what you'll see over here now is it pops up there. So if I start that, uh, click on console here, now that I've started it. There it is, a, a Windows setup. So I'm not actually going to sit here and do a Windows setup, but it shows you just how to go about it with your own operating system, whatever you plan on putting on there. That's how to do it with an ISO. There are other ways to do it from disk images, but I'll get into them another time.
the, the client that I'm using to connect to is just the browser. Like there was no install here on this laptop. It's just the browser. So what you can do with that console is you can also have a pop out one. So, I mean, it's, it's just going on another tab on this, but you could pull that tab out and run it, uh, you know, on one monitor there and that sort of thing. So it's, it's pretty good. I'll tell you something else too. There's some enterprise VMs that state they, they must be installed on this particular uh, VM server in order to be supported. But I can tell you, I've never had a problem running anything on Proxmox. So just keep that in mind.